pain of having a leg amputated without any pain medication. Set on your side, Jason Peterson visits with a Vietnam veteran tonight who says the last three weeks have been the longest and hardest of his life. Well, and the worst part is Richard Howard says his daily suffering is unnecessary. He has a prescription for pain medication. He just can't get it filled. It's been a, a hard road. It costs $500 to get the oxycodone pills that Richard Howard needs. Money he does not have. That's why I called you to see if you had any money. <laughs> Howard lives on a picturesque piece of property in northern Franklin County that his ancestors settled in the early 1800s. He loves it here. But living alone is tough after 19 surgeries, all he says related to his exposure to Agent Orange during Vietnam. Choppers flew over and laid out their 16-foot arms on either side and sprayed us like cattle. Guys were puking, passing out. Howard is a 100% service-connected disabled vet. He understands a growing concern at the VA about opioid addiction among vets, but to cut an amputee off cold turkey is cruel and inhumane. Underprescribing is one thing, but total. Not one, not nothing. Howard says his bones overproduce red blood cells, which creates circulation problems. He's about to begin rehab and prepare for a prosthetic leg, a painful ordeal made unbearable without pain medication. But Howard hopes that's about to change. The nurse called and apologized this morning and said it was her fault. Howard believes someone from either Senator Cotton or Senator Bozeman's office may have caused this change of heart. He is expecting pain meds to arrive by Friday. Aaron. Some